Hello, this is Lee McQueen, and I'm signing in to speak about Jill Stein and the Green Party, and then also uh, Aaron McKelney, uh, a Green candidate in Colorado for Senate. And I'm speaking about Jill because she's come up frequently on my channel. Um, I've been um, observing the Green Party even as a Sanders supporter. Uh, just keeping an eye on what was happening uh, in the other party, um, and then hedging my bet, um, as Jill has discovered that many Sanders supporters um, are willing to use the Green Party as their plan B. And she's invited, invited us on over, and many have answered her call. Um, I had concerns, and I expressed those concerns on my channel because I wanted to um, settle in my mind that she was actually serious about winning and that she was actually going for the presidential, uh, presidential seat, not just raising, you know, issues, that she was actually running to win um, and not pulling her punches um, when it came to Hillary Clinton and or Donald Trump, that she was in the race to win. And from what I can see, she is. She is super serious. She has stepped up, and she has been commenting and countering um, a lot of Hillary Clinton's uh, positions um, as a woman who's abused the sexism um, card and played it just entirely too often. Um, Jill has confronted her on that, and I'm glad because she needs to be confronted. And then also on the lack of progressive respect from the Democrat Party. Um, and then on down the list, issue by issue, uh, especially on foreign policy, environment, health care, uh, just about every issue where the Democrat Party underneath the leadership of Hillary Clinton has and is and likely will fall short. Um, so basically, Jill Stein mirrors um, Bernie Sanders on many issues, and so uh, she is the counterpoint for Bernie Sanders, who is uh, on the inside, um, inside the Democrat Party, adhering to the rules and protocol of the Democrat Party structure, and then Jill Stein is his near twin on the outside, part of another party, but um, issue by issue, very close to Bernie Sanders' position. So basically, the Green Party, underneath the leadership of Jill Stein, is a natural home for disaffected Bernie Sanders supporters. And we're in a strange um, waiting period, uh, a lot of um, Bernie Sanders supporters, because Bernie Sanders has not officially conceded um, the race to Hillary Clinton. And then you add that up with all the outstanding um Sometimes they're called scandals, but let's just call them criminal investigations <laughs> that are hanging over uh, Hillary Clinton. The legal issues stemming from her racketeering uh, during the primary season, and just a, a whole host of associated corruption through the Clinton Foundation, the pri um, private email server, the fact that she exposed classified material to foreign hackers, and then possibly expose the State Department uh, classified material because her email server was used as a portal uh, to get into the State Department. So, so many issues. And so, Bernie Sanders is still in the race. Um, Hillary Clinton in a weird spot, and it's just murky. So, in the meantime, um, until things are settled within the Democrat Party, I mean, a lot of people are saying, well, he lost, she won, but did she and did he? It's complicated. Um, and like many relationships, it's complicated. So there's a strange waiting period until the Democrat National Convention, which is likely when all of this gets straightened out. And a lot of people are not waiting. Some are waiting until July 25th to figure out, like, who's going to be in the race as a Democrat nominee. Uh, who's going to make it to a convention without getting indicted? Uh, who's going to concede or if anyone's going to concede or if someone's going to be inserted in? Like, you know, it's crazy. 
um, very messy, very unsettled and confusing. So, but Jill Stein is definitely the, uh, the Green Party nominee. Um, she's already made history as one woman um, who has set records on the number of votes that she won in the general election by any female candidate. That record might still hold. Um, we don't know what Hillary Clinton's situation is going to end up being. But there are many people who have no intentions whatsoever of ever casting a vote for Hillary Clinton. And it's all her own fault. Um, she created that maze that she can't get through. It's no one's fault but her own. And um, it's pretty tiresome of people to claim that, well, Bernie Sanders is hurting Hillary. Jill Stein is hurting Hillary. Donald Trump is hurting Hillary. I made a whole sarcastic video about all these people hurting Hillary. And the problems of it are of her own making. And so if you're voting for Jill Stein, if you're supporting Jill Stein, if you're working to assist Jill Stein to get additional media coverage, if you're assisting her with her ballot access campaign, um, she's going state by state, flipping them to green, getting green on the ballot so people can register, uh, change their um, party affiliations from Democrat to green. And a lot of people are heeding that call. There are many young people, the millennials, that uh, felt abused by the Democrat Party. The treatment of um, millennials by the Democrat Party has been horrific. It's been outstandingly bad. Um, and underneath the you know leadership of Bernie Sanders, of course, millennials were treated as people with respect. Hillary Clinton, not so much. She treated them worse than you know, like animals. And so it's a reflection on Hillary Clinton and the fact that she's a horrific political candidate. Uh, she always has been a pretty horrific politician. She's been assisted this far by um, champions uh, who uh, helped her pass those hurdles. Her husband, Barack Obama, and the Democrat Party is even trying to force Bernie Sanders to run interference with um, Hillary Clinton because Hillary Clinton doesn't feel like she should, you know, bend on one knee to ask for the vote of uh, Bernie Sanders supporters. Um, in her view, Bernie Sanders is supposed to shepherd and deliver our votes to her, and that's his job that she's taxed him with. And it's just worse and worse. The more she speaks, the more we see her attitude towards everyone, towards Bernie Sanders, towards the Bernie Sanders supporters, the, the more people are just repelled by her. She is just the anti-matter of um, running a presidential campaign. Um, you tell her that and you'll, she'll say, well, I'm winning. I've got three, I got three million votes. I got delegates. I got this. And I'm like, well, you don't need us. Bye. <laughs> but, you know, Voting for the lesser evil, voting for the lesser evil, year after year after year, it's basically brought us evil. And we're being told to coalesce with evil, to unify with evil, to get behind evil, to support evil. And no one wants to do that. That's not a good time. And so we want something fresh and new and exciting and clean and green. And so a lot of people have turned to Jill Stein. And I spoke in earlier that I felt like Jill Stein was kind of low energy, very low key, under the radar. And I changed my mind. Um, I've been watching her lately, and I decided that the reason why she'd been low key before was out of deference to Bernie Sanders. She was waiting to see, like many of us, if Bernie Sanders would prevail against Hillary Clinton. If Bernie Sanders turn the Democrat Party back on the progressive path uh, that it abandoned about 45 years ago, um, Jill Stein would not interfere with that. Um, because it's all about a progressive platform, whether it's in the Green Party, or if it's in the Democrat Party, or if maybe it's found somewhere within the Libertarian Party on some issues. Um, it's all about the issues. And so Jill Stein was waiting to see what would be the resolution with between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. 
And one indication seemed to be that Bernie Sanders would not be the Democrat nominee and that Hillary Clinton would. Jill, uh, yeah, Jill has, um, Dr. Jill Stein has been stepping up. She's been stepping up and she's been speaking out and she's been saying, you have a party here, you have a home here. These are the issues that we support. You support these issues, you can find them here. And they are the sole remaining, um, uh, let's just call it major party remaining in the race, um, on the, uh, getting on the ballot that are not bought and sold, um, or bought and bossed <laughs> by large corporations. The Green Party is the one party remaining in the race that is unbought and unbossed in the vein of Shirley Chisholm. And so, uh, excuse me. And so people who are looking for that are gravitating towards Jill Stein. And so um, I've been looking at her YouTube channel. She's jumped up her videos. She's jumped up her um, appearances. She's doing town halls. She's speaking out. She's getting interviews. She's getting poll numbers. And so it's an interesting time for the Green Party. And um, www.gp.org, that's where you'll find her. And you can, you know, see what the Green Party is about. Their goals are very clear. It's a progressive platform. What you heard Bernie Sanders speak on, that's what they're speaking on the Green Party. And then additional issues. Um, you can also go to Jill Stein's um, website, which is J I L L. 2016.com and the links are going to be in the description um, and then um, in another video I'm going to speak on a green candidate that I found interesting in Colorado.